Uh, this is going to be a game of chess. I'm white. The 30 minute clock on it. Let's see how it goes. Standard openings. Do, do, do. that pawn there <clears throat> on e4 with knight mm, this is all standard stuff Nothing interesting yet. I think that's what he was going to do. Still might. <coughs> it's a pawn to B5. Nope. <coughs> I'm just developing pieces here, putting my king into a castle position possibly. I think his knight's going to go to g4 here sometime. And that's what he wants to do. Mm, he's going to do that. So I just stop him doing that. Little pawn move. Stops his knight, stops his bishop. I'll do some bit of annoyance. Doesn't do anything. I'll just consolidate pawns, I think. No castle. Take the chance to castle. D4 square is a good square for him. His knight and his bishop. I think that will be the centre of attention. Might just bring in his. Um, so he's letting his bishop out there. Probably to bring his queen to f6. And then take pawn, can't take back because going into check. Mm, I think I'll get rid of his um, bishop. He used to either take. I get a double pawn, but I also attack his king pawn. You can move to the side, of course, or move back and change them. Make me take him. Not too fresh, really, just want to. Mm. 
One mistake. No piece is taken yet. Yeah, good. Not clear that up now. I got a good square there in D5. I think I can also miss on F7. Got a good square there. If he doesn't watch that, I can take that pawn with my bishop, pin the king in the knight. I even lose a piece, but he probably castle to avoid that or ring his bishop out. Same thing, same effect. And I can just advance my, you know, I can now put pressure on my just attacking that queen. You move it one up, but if he moves it one up, then I go in here and check and get a rook. If I get the, I don't just get the rook, I get the queen. So he has to be careful here. I think that was a bad move. You could just have moved the pawn up on the king's side. And that would have been, I wouldn't have moved my knight up there. No way, Jose. Well, he's just back where he was, so that doesn't do anything. Yeah, I'm just going to. Let's see. I wanted to take this, but he would just take me to queen. Find a piece to take. So. Attack the rook. Yeah, that's a good idea. So I'm attacking his rook here. It keeps him under pressure. I think he has to take this and I get the knight back with a pawn advantage. And he can move the rook, of course, but then I still get the, the knight. It's only a pawn I gain, but pawns count. Yeah, that's good. That worked for me. Yeah. He plays with that, especially if he moves his king to the to the right, because I can then take and check again. He can come out. He can go one up. He can go one to the side. Main thing is I get the knight, I disrupt his king side activity. Yeah, that's a bad way of doing that. Then I get the knight, that's what I wanted. Then I got a check here as well. Then I can check this rook and pick up another pawn if he's not careful. Yeah, he's careful. Okay, I don't need to worry about that, I don't think. What I want to do is try to push pawn. I'm trying to bring my queen in and straighten out my pawns. So he takes pawn, I take pawn, he takes knight, I take knight, I win that in exchange or it's kind of even, but I get those double pawns. And he's still got double pawns over in there. That's not a problem. And I think I can 
take with my queen yeah I can pawn pawn knight knight no, I can do that I can take with my queen so I'm still threatening even bigger threat up here with the queen going and checking and now there's rooks going from that side so it's more dangerous if you get his king locked in there I'm a pawn up and I think I'm sitting pretty good who knows though this is chess I think if he brings his bishop here to e6 that stops me in my tracks but I can take the pawn then or I can move up and attack the knight I think I would take the pawn yes it's an okay move but, but it kind of locks his queen up and I get the take the pawn I think you should take back maybe with a knight though I don't know Yeah, so I'll want an attack here, like that's a good square if I get in there. So I'm just keeping the pressure on him. And I'm sure he'll try to do it for me. worry me too much attacking a pawn so I'm going to check him there he has to move that king again and I got this pawn already and b6 is mine unless he can and I'm attacking the rook I'm attacking the knight still attacking this square here or maybe not he's got his knight here now hmm. interesting I think he's in a little bit of bother. Hmm. I'll take the pawn. So another pawn, I'm attacking his rook, I'm attacking his bishop. Can move his rook to here. What can I can take? What a sill bill. I just gave that away. It's almost like I forced him to do that. <laughs> so he's dead now, he's a rook down. He's not going to recover from that, I don't think. All I need to do is be careful. So I'm going to attack that pawn there. I'm just giving pieces away now, really. He's trying to get this pawn here on E3 when he's got this one as well. So I'm not overly worried about it. I mean, I think, in fact, maybe I can. Yeah, I can just increase the pressure. I'm not going to get the rook there if I go here. I 
I think I got a minute here. Let's see if I no, 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 no. If I go here, if I go to F7, I'm attacking the queen and I'm attacking the knight. So he would take. Yeah, he wouldn't do that. He takes this. I take. Yeah, I get a knight. What do I get? I go here. Attacking his queen, he takes a pawn on e3. I take his queen, he takes my queen, I take his knight. Yeah, I, I, I gain from that, I gain points from that, so I'm going to do that. No, I didn't that move. I think. He moves out the way. Can't believe he did that. <laughs> he just gave up his own. Gave up his knight. Wow, that's a mistake. If I take that, then he's dead. Can't even get the pawn with the queen. He's dead. Yeah, resign. Good, good decision to resign, but he messed that up. Boom.